child of old Spain, of the Argonaut 49, and the vigilantes of 56. Child of the mines, the orchards, the mountains, and the sea. A city of romance and glamour. This is San Francisco. Here in these spires of stone and steel, the sturdy sons of men who fought their way across the continent still guide and control the destinies of the great empire which they cleaved from the wilderness. Market Street, the high road of this port of flags one of the most famous thoroughfares of the world. The Embarcadero, still clinging to its early Spanish name, meaning the embarking place, has always been a haunt of writers. They collected many a stirring tale. Wandering tramp steamers and trans-Pacific liners come from Asia and the Eastern Seas, from Latin America and Europe. Here the Orient discharges her treasure. Shimmering silk, ivory, porcelain and tea from China and Japan, peasant wear from Spain and Italy. It was here in this street of ships that Jack London heard and answered the call of the sea. Seas and ships as they loitered about the docks watching the arrival of boats from far off land. The clocks in the ferry building can be seen for miles around, a constant reminder of ever-changing activity. The turnstiles below pours a steady stream of hasty commuters and visitors, intent on work and pleasure. For years, the churning ferry boats have carried a steady procession of people, workers and lovers, honest men and knaves, the living stream of humanity which makes up a great city. The world's two greatest bridges, the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge, will be more than eight miles long. Mighty spans of steel rise majestically to the sky growing like magic to awe-inspiring proportions. Long the world's outstanding challenge to bridge builders, the Golden Gate surrenders at last to the vision and ingenuity of engineers. Winging our way back over this city of startling contrasts, city of adventure, gaiety, enterprise and drama, home of men and women in whom the pioneer spirit still burns, we hover over a civic center indicating pride in political government. The city hall, library, auditorium, and state building form an impressive group. The War Memorial Opera House, where the spirit of San Francisco's fallen warriors seems to live again in music. Suavities of outline accent the horizon, where skyscrapers take on fantasy against the clouds. Here in the midst of eddying traffic is a unique feature that has defied progress a cable car and its old-fashioned turntable, just as it was in the early days of the Bonanza King. All the year round, these flower stands of flaming beauty send forth their fragrance, long to remain a distinctive memory to the passerby. On the very fringe of the shopping district is Chinatown, where the largest colony of Chinese outside of China lives its own life. Here, the bazaars, street scenes, and architecture suddenly become truly oriental, Pagoda roofs, joss houses, grilled balconies, the scent of the Orient. Here is young China. In this melting pot of all nations, youth soon learns to become progressive with a smile. One of the busiest places in this Oriental section is Chinatown's own telephone exchange. Each operator must memorize the names of over 2,000 subscribers, for numbers are not used here. Just around the corner lies Fisherman's Walk. One realizes the city's cosmopolitan nature upon viewing the picturesque harbor of the Italian fishing fleet with its Madonna blue boats. Entirely of Mediterranean old world are these fisherfolk. Gentle, kindly, soft of speech, happy as they mend their nets or dispose of the day's catch. Here's where they bring them back alive or cook them while you wait ready to be taken home or eaten in this quaint bit of Naples overlooking the fishing craft of these gracious people. An ideal yacht harbor facing the Golden Gate. And just as a postman takes a walk on his day off, shipping magnets go for a sail on Sunday. The beautiful Legion of Honor lies directly below us, a replica of the Legion of Honor in Paris. On the green terrace is the brave young figure of Joan of Arc sitting so erect, seemingly so fearless, a standard